Thank you, mate, and then we'll go. Easing the grass runway. Uh, of course, yeah. And stand by, mate. Doctor information, Classic Wings 5, uh, taxi, two persons on board, 30 minutes initially to the south. Classic Wings 5, taxi, Bravo 24, left hand, QNH 1021. Bravo 24, grass 1021, Classic Wings 5. Oh uh, yeah, the Tiger Moth, uh, the... The DH82A, which this is, cannot operate them from tarmac because we have no brakes and we don't have a tailwheel, we just have a metal skid at the tail. I don't know whether you noticed before you climbed in. I didn't know. Photo to Echo Golf. No. Oh, yeah, so there, uh, there are some aircraft that have had tailwheels fitted and brakes fitted, which we can obviously use from tarmac, um, but uh, ours are the originals, pure form. Tiger Moth, so, uh, yeah, grass only. Great. Authentic. Absolutely. Okay, so before takeoff, if you make sure your straps are nice and snug, and keep your hands and feet away from the controls. Okay, two, four, take off your discretion, two, four, left. And I'm going so to uh, turn two, four, the in off for takeoff, take because off it's very three, loud, and I'll turn it back on as I throttle back slightly. Take off. Okay. Tango, report lined up, runway two, four, left. Copy line. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the intercom off. Talk to you in a minute. Flash Wings 5, Bravo, ready for departure. Flash Wings 5, report lined up 2 4 right. Lining up uh, on the grass, Classic Wings 5. Flash Wings 5, Flash Wings 9, north of the field, the resign right mid. So it's 9, report right base 24 QFE 10163 departing. 10163, uh, copy right base, 5 settings 9 up. Oh, sir, Tango, the previous departure, we're turning left into the circuit, take off your discretion, wind 2605. Sir, Tango, take my discretion, uh, Roger the driver, just going to hold for one second with this is in the circuit. That's approved. Oh, sir, Tango, Roger, in that case, can you cancel and hold position, please? Hold your position, go, sir, Tango. Last wing 5, take off your discretion, 24 right, wind 2605. Uh, take off my discretion. Classic wings five. Fox Delta, Delta, Delta Foxtrot, confirm your destination is White Waltham and report leaving the frequency. Hey, Fox, we've got Fox Delta Foxtrot. Tango, take off your discretion, 24 left wind 2605. Take my discretion, go, sir, Tango. Yeah, this 
despite the miss, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, murky everywhere else, but to the south it's been really good. Yeah. I didn't realise until we took off, that's actually more of a, a south runway, isn't it? That's from what, sorry? In the, uh, the runway direction, I always thought it was east west. It's uh, 240, so it's yeah. southwest. Yeah. Southwest, yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we are, level flight. So if you make a mental note of where you see the horizon ahead yep. of you, so that attitude is level flight. Okay. Look at the wing tips, and with the wings level, the horizon is equidistant between the wings. Okay, okay so follow me through on the controls. Feet on the rudder pedals, and finger and thumb on the stick. And then look straight ahead. Okay, so gently back on the stick. No, I have control. Don't resist me. Oh, sorry. Follow me through. So, if I move the stick gently backwards, the aircraft pitches up. And if I move it gently forwards, the nose pitches down. And then backwards again returns the aircraft to level flight. So, you have control. Have a go at doing that nice and gently. Okay, so. Is it forward? And backwards. Back. Okay. And back to level flight. So, so you get a sense of. Now you're controlling the aircraft in pitch. Yep. Okay, I have control. Okay. Now, if I move the stick to the right, the aeroplane will roll to the right and it keeps rolling until I centre the stick and then we stay roughly in the same angle of bank. Okay. If I move the stick to the left, the aircraft rolls to the left until I centre the stick and then it stays in the same angle of bank. And then right stick returns us to level flight. So you have control, have a go at doing that. Okay, so right stick. Rolls us to the right, now centre the stick, hold the angle of bank, and now to the left. And centre, hold the angle of bank, and then roll the wings back to level flight again. Okay, level flight is there. Okay, so I have control and manoeuvre us round towards uh, Saffron Walden. And then finally we'll look at the rudder. Now at the moment you can feel how like you're sitting vertically in the seat, aren't you? Yes. If I apply right rudder and put us out of balance, you get pushed over to the left. Yep. And if we apply left rudder, we're your left and we get pushed to the right. Okay, so you have control, have a go at doing that. Okay, so, uh, left rudder. Don't fight me on the stick. Oh, and sorry, right yeah, yeah. rudder. Yeah. And right rudder. And back to the left again. Okay, so, just take a moment. We've got all the end coming up on the right-hand side. Stuff from Walden beyond it. You can see the house down there. Yeah, very clearly. And there's an aircraft just taking off at all the end. Now, Oh, I see him, yeah, just over the trees there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Actually on top of the old tunnel, isn't it? Oh, nice view of Audley End. Brilliant, yeah. Okay, so I'm turn left now. I'll show you a tango, the one on the hardest for touch and go, watch your intention. Uh, we'll still carry on as I I'll show you a tango a second. Yeah, I'll continue to go off there, thank you. I'll thank you, Roger. And we'll roll back to wing level. Right, now, so... We've got to go at each of the controls so you know how they're going to be, how they're going to respond. So, to fly the aircraft straight and level, we keep it in balance with our feet. So, we hold the rudder in the correct position, make little adjustments so we feel like we're sitting in the middle of the seat. And then with the stick, I'm using the stick to keep the wings level. Yep. Um, don't look inside, you need to look out at the horizon Sorry, as yep. your reference. I didn't see what you were doing with the stick. No, you can feel what I'm doing when you've got your finger on the stick. Right, I've got it on there now. Yeah, so just using small movements to keep the wings level and small movements to keep the nose in the correct attitude. Okay, the okay. aircraft is in trim and it's pretty stable but it's also very light. And so we still have to make little tiny corrections just to keep the aircraft flying on a smooth trajectory. So, I'm going to give you control of the rudder to start with, so you have the rudder. Now you might find when I take control, when I take my feet off, that you have to apply a bit of right pedal. There you go, that's good, you've got it in balance, and now take the stick. And 
just hold the aircraft in level flight. You're going to find that you're making little tiny corrections. Now you're pushing on the stick, so relax on it. There you go, that's level flight. Try and stay relaxed, because then you can make those little tiny movements of the stick that are needed to keep the aircraft flying straight and true. Once we achieve our angle of bank, we centralise the controls, and now we so see how the nose gradually drops. So we need the tiniest amount of backwards pressure to keep the nose off, following the horizon, and then we turn in level flight. And once we reach our desired direction, we're going to roll right again back to level flight. So right stick, right rudder, and centralise. God, very tango, all the downwind too. Yeah, you make it seem really easy. Third Tango, System 152 Head, report final. Before your final, Gold Third Tango. So do you work in this industrial estate with the big buildings down here to the right? Uh, it's actually in the triangle. So no, that's the genome campus. Okay. That's our biggest customer. Right. Uh, so we're actually behind us now, but that's that's a great view of the, uh, the genome campus and the whole. Yeah. Any further to the right because then we're in the way in the circuit at Duxman. Sure. Okay, so you have control. Okay. So turn me to the left. So rolling left. To the left. Please left rudder at the same time. That's too much rudder. Oh, yeah. Uh, got it. Centralize Wait. the controls and now that gentle bit of backwards pressure. Holding the angle of bank constant and keeping the aircraft tracking around the turn. More backwards pressure on the stick, just a bit more, that's it, hold it there. And roll yeah. the wings level there. Okay, good stuff. So we're going to just head north, go have a look at Cambridge, and then back towards Duxford again. Okay, great. So yeah. you have control, just see level, I'm just going to talk on the radio. Okay. Just an information, Forestic Wings 5, uh, three miles to the southeast of the field. Uh, we're routing northbound towards Cambridge now, uh, just outside the ATZ, northbound 1500 feet. 5, Roger, 2 Spitfires off circuit, manoeuvring in the vicinity of Duxford 2 in the visual circuit, report rejoining. I will go. Classic wings, uh, five. And I'll go. Spit by information is just the north at uh, Barrington. We're going to run a break right now. Spit by information report 30 seconds, 24 QFE 1016. One Cessna is on final, followed by Harvard late time. Right now, it's going to be the Cessna Harvard, you'll go. Spit by information. And Harvard, Gold Sherry Tango, just turn on final for 24 hard. Right. Ah, right, okay, yeah, got you. It's awfully small for my beer. 
Crosshair Tango final two four grass contact with the uh on the approach to the heart. Crosshair Tango, Roger. So do you need to contact Cambridge now? Uh, I will do in a moment, yeah. Ah, yeah. So far information, your further traffic is one five two on a touch and go on the hard runway. Right, Five Cambridge Bravo Squad six one correction. Classic wings five two eight one zero two zero. That's your message. Uh, one zero two zero. Classic wings uh, fires the Tiger Moth ducks at deduction two POB. Uh, we're uh, three and a half miles to the uh, north and east of Dutchman, uh, routing now to the western side of the Cambridge ATZ, fifteen hundred feet. Uh, request a basic service. Classic wings five basic service Q and eight one zero two zero. Basic service uh, one zero two zero. Classic wings five. Turn left towards the lake, the reservoir. You can see Cambridge Airport right at two o'clock. Yeah, got Big it. Hangers. And the city. And the hospital there right at one o'clock at the moment. So if you roll out there, head on this heading. Outside the Duxford one, we're in the gap. So we're in uncontrolled airspace, we don't have to talk to anybody. Right. Uh, here, but it's a good idea to do so. Yeah, you don't want to meet a Hercules on an air test. Uh, that's correct, yeah. So to try not to nose the nose down, just maintain that Sorry, attitude yeah. on level flight. If in doubt, let go of the controls, and the aircraft is uh, stable and it's prepared to fly in level flight. So naturally go back to the right pitch attitude. Very forgiving in that respect. Yeah. It's, it's stable, but it's so light that every, if the air's bumpy, it gets moved around an awful lot. It's, it's really smooth at the moment. I mean, it's a lovely evening, it really is. No thermals. No, none at all, and the wind's dying off as well. Yeah. It was bumpy this morning. Yeah, I imagine, it, yeah, I was a bit worried this morning when I came. Yeah, it was a bit breezy at times. Of the Adam Brooks campus. Yep. Cambridge approach. Uh, Cambridge approach, back to Wings 5, sorry, say again. Custom Wings 5, it's not a problem, uh, just so you know, Cambridge is now closing in 20 seconds, so uh, just continue to make blind calls on this frequency and, uh, re and just report leaving the frequency back to Dublin. I will call, uh, stay on frequency, talk to Cambridge traffic until uh, south of your uh, 2 3 climb out and then back to Dublin. Thanks very much for your service today. Custom Wings 5, it's not a problem, thanks for the calls as always, and speak to you again sometime. Okay, that's fine. All stations, Cambridge broadcast, Cambridge traffic now closing. Okay, that's good, they're closing for the evening, so we're on our own, so we go back to Duxford. Which is quite good, because it means nobody's going to be yakking on the radio. <laughs> so just relax on the stick, you're just pushing on the stick slightly, yeah. see how the nose comes back up again? Yeah, and that's it. the attitude we want to maintain. how the busway used to be a railway line up here. Sorry, say again. See how the busway to our right used to be a railway line. Oh, ah, OK. Yeah. And it merges in from up here, you can see it well. But you can see the railway lines and the station up yeah. to your right in the middle yeah. of town. And if you look right at one o'clock, you can see the side of King's College Chapel. 
Absolutely. Great view of the colleges and the backs. Yeah, so we're going to go sort of as far as the library, and then as you pass the library, turn left and head back in the opposite direction, OK? OK. Um, yeah. So you'll see it when you get there. It's uh, this side of the banks and the woods. Right. It's a big square building with a tower. Oh, OK, yeah. Built in, the, uh, built in a more modern stone than the old colleges. Cambridge had a wheel. Yes, yeah. I've got the library in my one o'clock now. That's right, yep, yeah, absolutely. So we'll just keep on past it so you get the best view of the colleges. And uh, there'll be a left turn to head back following the M11, okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you. 
this is the direction the wind is forcing the nose up more than when we're going north. No, just let go, let go of the stick. Okay, I'll, I'll let go. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, it's just stabilised. Just stays right where it needs to be. Yep. The aircraft is trimmed. So, you keep gently pushing on it, you see? Yep. So if you just let go, the aircraft is stable. Yep. Well, it's flying itself. Okay, so I'm just going to throttle back slightly, watch what happens when I do that. Should drop, shouldn't it? Those will pitch down, and we just start a gentle descent. Right. You have control now? So, no, you keep flying. Okay. So just hold that new attitude now with a slightly nose low. Keep the wings level, and the aeroplane will just gently descend. I have control now. Okay, you have control. Okay, one five, joining right base. Test wings five, for just assess the one five two in the circuit to uh, shorten it to any final. Uh, rocket wings five, uh, Roger. Uh, looking. Golf Fox Romeo, departing from the turn, Keystone East, sir, to Haverhill. Golf Fox Romeo, Roger, report leaving frequency. We call Golf Fox Romeo. Roger, Wings 5, uh, turning final, uh, visual with the Cessna, I'm end of it. Roger, Wings 5, Roger, Harvard, just crossing the grass, the far end, surface wind, 260 degrees, 7 knots. Roger, Wings 5, uh, visual with the Harvard. Land plus wings 5, one way 2, 4 right, land your discretion. Land, my discretion, plus and wings 5. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, Steve. Oh, it's tremendous. Yeah, yeah, really good. Go Fox Romeo, Roger, good day. Bye, Go Fox Romeo. Okay, so we're going to keep the engine running. I'm going to take the aircraft back to the hangar. So, uh, uh, Dawn will get you out. So, stay put for the moment, Steve, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it a lot, Pete. Thank you very, very much. Nicely done.